This is Tyler Smoots with Kale Stress Designs. This is a bike rack that we designed here in the shop, which is comprised of some laser cut steel plate and some rolled steel tubing. This is the first piece that we've designed and used the CAD library from the Stronghand Tools Build Pro website to help us design the fixture before even heading out into the shop. So that allowed me to do a lot of problem solving while still sitting in my comfy office chair. I laid our assembly down on the table and uh, started using some of the clamps and right angle brackets to design our fixture. While I was having the, uh, the blue components laser cut, I also cut that gray V-block plate so that we could accurately uh, index our steel tubing. And also the blue components at a correct height. Uh, the blue components would stay clamped down during the uh, production run and then we'd put the orange components in tack them all together, pop it out of the fixture, and move on. It turned out to be a uh, really efficient process. You know, when we were designing little one-off fixtures, I used in-context modeling. That made it really easy. Uh, having that CAD library was a really good asset for us. First thing I did was tap in the uh, base plate. You can see in this shot that the circular component is held down with uh, machinist strap clamps. My main reason for using the strap clamps was it's low profile and allowed easier access to uh, some little tabs that I had to weld in that area so I didn't have a, any other obstruction in interfering with access with my MIG gun. The welding order is pretty important on a uh, piece with curved tubing. I would do four or five tacks for the base of the tubing to the base plate and then at the peak I would do three or four tacks about two and a half inches of the seam at the, uh, the inside of that joint where I'd finish weld so that most of the distortion would happen while I was set up in the fixture. Then I would weld the tabs to the tubing which later would be used to mount that circular component to the frame. The reason that's important is if you have distortion after you've welded those tabs in then your hole centers don't line up well anymore. It was really quick to set all the components in place, clamp them down, and then I start tacking up the assembly. Active time to fixture each assembly was probably a minute and uh, then a minute and a half of welding time. Pop the clamps loose. Pull it out of the fixture. You're done.